Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K13 My Career Gameplay. We're going against the Houston Rockets here. who are 9 and 10, but don't let the record deceive you. They're pretty good in this game because of one guy who goes by the name of Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin, as you know, um, I started this before the James Harden trade, so Martin's on the Rockets, Harden's still on the Thunder, and Martin is a complete beast of this game. He immediately fires every single three-point look he gets, and he makes most of them, so... It's just tough to stop. Like, look at this. Step back and shoot. There's nothing you can do about that. So that just makes them a really dangerous team on offense. So, you know, we got to work it out for us to win this game. We played them like two or three games ago. And um, we almost lost. And the game was only, it was only like a five-point win for us. I didn't feel like showing it. It wasn't really that exciting of a game. But um, this game was even more exciting than that one. As Kevin Martin gets the steal and goes all the way. Just pokes the ball out of Denny's hands and goes up there. And the Rockets are on a big run to start off the game. You know, they're just on Kevin Martin is basically carrying the team right now. Then he's trying to do all he can run. A pick and roll Anthony Davis. Davis gets the bucket there wide open. So, you know, we're trying to be a little bit resilient here. But um, another thing about the Rockets is they get more offensive rebounds than most teams for some reason. Especially Patrick Patterson. He was dominating his matchup against Ed Davis. And he would get a ton of offensive rebounds there. Um, speaking of offensive rebounds, we get one. But we can't finish it, unfortunately. And even Tony Douglas is firing the three-pointer like it's nothing and knocking it down. He's got that Kevin Martin quick release. So, we got to fire back with our own three-pointer. Get that one to go. So, we're still down by nine here. They're still up. But, um, anyways, hold, hold on, hold on. Johnny Flynn goes down down Johnny Flynn goes down on a nice cross by Denny and he's able to knock down the deep two-point shot there but um hey that's one for the highlight reel but um anyways next thing I want to talk about is um the NBA playoffs I haven't done that in a while I've been doing a few live comms lately but um yeah it seems like one the Bulls are about to lose I mean they're playing right now they're trying to fight against the heat but um I don't know, the Heat look like they're about to beat the Bulls here. Might be a close game. I mean, it's going on live right now as I do this commentary. The Spurs and Warriors, game five. The Spurs took game five, a huge game. And um, Spurs took, I, I kind of expected the Spurs to take that game. Because, um, you know, that's, as one of the comments, I, I think like Charles Barkley, one of them said inside the NBA. Game five and game six and all that, that's when experience starts taking over. And um, the Spurs are the experienced team, so, you know, they're able to execute in Game 5. And plus, Steph Curry's kind of on a bum ankle, you know. And Klay Thompson is finally, like, he's ki finally, like, calmed down. You know, he was red hot before. He's finally cooled down a little bit. As then he makes a nice assist to Iguodala, who throws it down there. Beautiful play. Got this guy crossed over. And then Iggy stuffs it home. But, um... I kind of, I think I, I think I said, um, Spurs in six the whole time. So, that's kind of coming true. I say Heat in five. That looks like it's coming true. I also said Knicks in six. And, um, yeah, my Knicks aren't really going to do that. They're, my Knicks not even make it to game six, all right? First of all, they need to take it to seven if they win. But they, they're not even going to get to game six, you know? The Pacers are just thoroughly dominating them right now. The final box score does not indicate how close of a game, or how not much of a close game it was. You know, the Spurs were in control the whole time, even though it was only an 11-point win. Not the Spurs, the um, Pacers. So, um, you know, my Knicks, we're just not getting it done right now. I mean, Melo's doing all he can, all right? Melo cannot score 50 points the whole game on 100% shooting. That's unrealistic. The other guys are just not there. J.R. Smith is ice cold. Jason Kidd hasn't hit a shot in, like, it seems 10 years. As Jeremy Lin gets a fast break dunk. And, um, we got a nice lead, but they ended up tying the game up before halftime. And that's basically the way it was. I went on the bench, and it was a two-point lead for us heading into halftime. But, um... Yeah, it seems like, you know, just Knicks are not, they're not hitting the three-pointers. And you live and you die by the three-pointers. And the Knicks are dying on the three-pointers, unfortunately. So that's the way the season's going to go. I mean, I really hope just, I really just want to see a game six. I like the team. I like the guys on this team, like Kidd and Shumpert, Mello. I want to see it go to a game six, but um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's happening. And then um, the last series, the Grizzlies and the Thunder. I think I said Grizzlies in five, too. And that looks like it's coming true. So... I, th I was pretty dead on my um, predictions, except for the Knicks series, but I, I said it. It was a bias. It was a bias pick as Kevin Martin knocks down the three-pointer with that lethal quick release. And look at Jeremy Lin. He thinks he's Denny Tice. This is what I do after people miss free throws. I get the, pa I get the pass from the power forward or small forward, and then I pass it to my shooting guard. But um, Jeremy Lin just did um, what I do. And here, I'll give it to my shooting guard right there, Eric Gordon. He can knock down that shot. And um, the Rockets are giving us a tough game. We haven't lost since the Warriors game, which I believe we're on, what, like a 12-game winning streak? Maybe even more, maybe like 13 or 14-game winning streak right now. So, we're on a pretty big winning streak as Anthony Davis dunks it in Kevin Martin's face. And we don't want to let that up. We, we want to win. And um, the Rockets are division rivals, so we want to make sure they don't get a game up on us. So, 
you know, just in case standings and all that. So we're trying to fight hard, and I'm trying to win my point guard battle against Jeremy Lin. He's having a pretty decent game. He's a pretty above average defender in this game. He might even be in real life. I don't really watch much. I haven't watched much Lin this year. I watched Lin last year, obviously. He was in the Knicks, but this year I haven't paid attention to him much. Still like him, but I just don't pay attention. There, we finally get um, a defensive rebound. They've been killing us in the offensive boards. We stop Patrick Patterson from getting that one, and we pass it to Eric Gordon. Beautiful pass over the defender's head, and Eric Gordon is able to finish that. But we are still in a dogfight. But, um, yeah, that's basically NBA playoff talk I got. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, the second round has been great, though. Second round has been great, especially the Spurs and Warriors series. That series has been so good. And here, I wasn't even trying to reach in Jeremy Lin. I was trying to steal the pass from um, whoever was trying to pass it to Lin. And um, then he just reacted late and ended up being a reaching foul. And then the same thing happened here. I was trying to steal the inbound pass. And um, instead of stealing the inbounds pass, the reaching was late. And I ended up reaching in on the guy when I didn't want to. So, um, yeah. That's the way that worked out. And the Bulls are actually only down by one. So, they might actually have a shot to go to game six. Who knows? But um, anyways, let's just get into this game here. Because we're not even winning this game right now. I went back on the bench after the reaching. So, I barely, got even, I barely played any time. When I left, I came back, did a reach, and I got sent back out until the start of the fourth quarter. And we all of a sudden were down by two. So I gotta try. We just gotta try to push, and now it's winning time. So we just gotta, you know, go off adrenaline and all that. Here, Jeremy Lin hits a shot in my face to tie the game back up, and you know we gotta execute. Don't get mad. This is one. The Rockets are a prime example of prime example of a Hall of Fame team. You don't want to get mad. You just gotta do stuff on the fast break, like pass to the Iguodala. Perfect pass. Perfect time to pull the jumper up for Iggy. He knocked that down. And then here, you know, just getting the inbounds pass, and that's an, that's an easy point right there. Easy three points since he got the and one finish. And this is also easy. Beat the buzzer there by Eric Gordon. Just throwing a Hail Mary to him. And he's able to knock that down. Absolutely no skill or thought went into that. That was just, you know, I gotta beat the buzzer. And I'm, I'm not taking that shot. I'm letting Eric Gordon take that shot. But, um, the Rockets are still fighting, man. They're still fighting. They're only down by three. And, you know, we just got to make sure we contain Kevin Martin. If we contain Kevin Martin, we're all right. There he gets a fast break layup, but um, we just got to make sure we don't let him get too high. He's already got 35 points. I don't know how much more he can get. Make sure his legs get tired if he shoots too much and just beat him continuously on the offensive end, as Eric Gordon does there from the Denny Tice pass. Here, Tice gets the rebound, trying to start yet another fast break to Eric Gordon, and he tries to take it all the way, but he's a little bit out of control and cannot get it to go. So she gets the rebound, passes it to Lynn. They're only down by three, and Jeremy Lynn trying to take it all the way, cross is over Eric Gordon and goes to the hole and that's a bang and a bucket. Actually, no. No foul there. It's still a one-point game as Denny knocks down the jumper, making it a three-point game right before the shot clock ended. And we're trying to fight back. The Rockets are trying to rally, but we're just staving off every rally we can right now. Make it a five-point game here, but you know the Rockets are going to try to come back and I, I just dropped Kevin Martin there. I, w I just did a simple crossover. I wasn't trying to do anything. I would have shot that if I knew that was going to happen. Instead, Kevin Martin shoots that, but he can't make it. Parsons gets the rebound. He can't make it. And then I'm trying to get it here, but Patterson gets it instead. I was jumping like three or four times, but I just couldn't reach it. So it's a four-point game. Then he lining up the jumper, and he does not got that. But look at Anthony Davis crashing the boards. He's got that. Six-point game. Big-time play by Anthony Davis. Then he ties with the tremendous defense on Eric Gordon. But unfortunately, Patterson gets yet another rebound and gets fouled. She's been to the free throw line a few times. But for some reason, they play terrible full court press with under two minutes to go. Only down by, what, four points? Now make it six as Iguodala gets it wide open. He's able to make that one go all the way home. Here, Lynn getting the rebound, and we cannot get them. They're crashing the offensive boards like crazy and getting to the foul line like crazy. But here's Denny lining up the jumper and knocking it down. Six-point game, big-time bucket by Denny, trying to help his team get the victory. Denny ties defending Jeremy Lynn beautifully there again and there's um a sheet trying to do something there but look at tice finding the wide open teammate iguodala and iggy's jumper has been money this game and that should be able to carry us home iggy having a huge game 30 points denny with a 40 30 game and i swear i did not call for that ball i was just walking and then iguodala passed it and that ended up being my turnover so that kind of sucked I had some weird turnovers in this game like an offensive three second but um we got the victory and that's all that matters it was a tough game Rockets played good, but we played better, and we got the win. So, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe for more Denny Tyson NBA 2K13, and I'll catch you guys next time as we head to the press conference. It was a huge game for you in terms of assists. You were simply brilliant with the way you were able to set your teammates up. What did you guys do to open up the offense so nicely? You're seeing our hard work pay off. 
Coach has been pushing us in practice, and I think most of the guys are pretty familiar with the offense we're trying to run at this point. After a while, it just starts to click for everyone. When you know where your teammates are going to be before they get there, it's easy to get them the ball exactly the way they like it. Great game, man. Really proud of the way the entire team stepped up tonight, man.